Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Libra, we're doing your reading. This is going to be a reading for 2022. So we're checking in on the energies that's going to be following you into the new year coming in for you for the whole year of 2022. This is some Dragon's Blood Sage just to cleanse my space, the cards, and the energy. So this reading is going to be set up a little bit different. I'm going to be checking in on your spirit, soul, energy, what's going on with that. Um, and then I'll get down into from the 5D, 3D, 4D into the 3D, what's going on with you, the outcome, and your advice from spirit. All right, Libra, let's see what we have for you, spirit guides. I remember soul plan the faded life versus destiny life and then we have what is this star family at the bottom of the deck that's the start star seed tarot or star seed oracle deck spirit guides benevolent ancestors universal energies Please protect me as I enter to line with the energies. Please allow me to observe, not absorb. Let me see clearly what I need to see, hear, and say. I am thankful for your guidance. We have Adams at the bottom of the deck. I believe Cancer and Capricorn got those. And then you have Speed. <clears throat> something could be taken off pretty quick here moving fast for you or you could just be moving all right let's get more into these energies i did pre-shuffle these decks before beginning recording just to save time because these videos are already running like 40 minutes 45 minutes dances on one foot balancing act vanishing mirror ego sublimation 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 <laughs> What is that word? Ego, sublimation, 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 sublimation. I can't say the word. I don't know what it is. Sub. Never even heard of it. I guess it's supposed to be a derivative of subliminal. So there's definitely something going on with your uh, subconscious mind versus your ego mind. Something's not adding up here. Um probably some type of expectation you set for yourself I'm getting that you're not seeing it through or it's not coming through how you thought heart home compassion okay can you guys see these let me see okay yeah that looks fine all right, let's see what else do we have for you. Okay, so with the, with your other cards up here, your soul cards, I'm definitely getting like that maybe you're trying to measure up to something, your ego. You're trying to measure up to something, but it's like you're not... Maybe you're not measuring up to it, but maybe it's because you weren't meant to measure up to it. Maybe it's just your ego expecting something of you that you're not ready to offer. And there's going to come a point in time where you're going to have to choose or accept something here. Within yourself, I'm feeling like. We got the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. 
both of these are in the reverse, so we're going to take them in the upright. The Nine of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Hermits. Mm -mm, that's way too many. I feel like I'm going to have to scoop these up a little bit. Hold on, you guys. Bear with me while I get these straightened out. Because the, ugh. I want y'all to be able to see these bottom cards that I'm going to put down here. Or at least part of them. Because this is a part of your spread down here. So we got the five of coins. Damn, Libra. Did I say Leo or Libra? I hope I've been saying Li Libra because this is your reading. <laughs> Which I'm sure you can see that down here. We got Emperor at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and finish putting this down. We got the star card, some type of wish fulfillment. New beginning in love. There's some fear here around something, some type of work or something being difficult to walk away from. Somebody's choosing not to walk away. Ten of Wands again. You got the Ten of Wands twice here. And then we have the Hangman. Somebody's stuck. At the bottom of the deck though, we got the Sun. That's usually a good sign. Okay, so you guys can't see these ones down here that well, but when I talk about them or go over them, I will uh, open these up actually a little tiny bit more to have more room. Okay, so you can kind of see them a little bit more, a little bit better. All right, let's go ahead and pull your outcome. I just want to get everything down before I start going over everything in detail. We got the page of earth. We got the five of fire. We got the six of earth. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the fool in reverse. And then finally, we're going to do your advice. The advice for Libra, advice for Libra, advice for Libra. That's too many advice for Libra. At the bottom of the deck, we have take action. Let me put that right here. And then we had trust that came out first. We had improving health. And within the next few months. All right. So let's get to it. I'm going to push this up. I am going to clarify with uh, the Lunasomnia deck, this black deck, which you probably can't see too good in the camera, but it's right here. You will see it when I start clarifying, but <clears throat> so there's definitely something you're balancing, trying to juggle, possibly something that's not working out for you. This could be your reality with your ego, trying to um, compensate for something, but it's becoming more of a burden than you realize. There could be something that you fear to let go of. It could have something to do with love. 
it, you f could feel like you're called to do something, but your ego is telling you that you're maybe meant for something way more. But little do you know, the way more has something more to do on a soul level than on the actual 3D. I do see the star here. Maybe you're hoping and wishing for something or this is a wish come true. Maybe you might be getting recognition here, the kind that you want. I do see something moving ahead for you pretty quickly. And then something is happening on a um, micro level inside of you too. That's what I'm getting. So that could be something to do with your health. Like maybe you were sick and you're building immunity to something. You have the Ten of Wands here twice though, so that does kind of concern me. And the Hermit with the Five of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Swords. So it's like maybe love has taken you through a whole bunch of stuff right here and it wasn't what you expected. Like maybe you bit off more than you could chew. Maybe you're maybe you saw it differently in your mind. And maybe you're at um, a crossroads, two of wands up here. Do you want to choose yourself or do you want to choose this person? Do you want to choose this relationship or do you want to start over? All right, let's get one card for this dance is on foot and I'm not leaving these down. I'm just clarifying. We got the page of pentacles. Maybe somebody is wondering how they're going to balance out being a mother. I was just about to say having a child, being a mother. I feel like that was in your last reading. Somebody's not exactly sure how they're going to make this work. Having a career and possibly having a child too. Trying to be a wife, a mother, and a career person. That's what I'm getting here. Um, the Page of Pentacles for me is an actual child. So you might be having to be a role model for somebody or you might be really considering having children because that came out in you guys' last reading too. And with the Empress being at the bottom of the deck, that further lets me know that this could be for a lot of you guys' contemplation about being a mother. We got the Ace of Cups in reverse after her. All right, let's see Vanishing Mirror. Vanishing Mirror, something to do with your ego. And we got the Ace of Swords right there. The truth is out. We got the Tower. Somebody's not accepting their truth, though. The, uh, somebody is not accepting their truth. Maybe their truth has become too much for them to handle, too much for them to bear. Maybe there's something about yourself that you're not accepting. Maybe you feel like you need to get some work done or something isn't... I don't know something is just not right with you but it's your ego telling you this it's not the actual fact that something is wrong it's a distortion with you connecting with your higher self and what other people are viewing you as you might be also taking on the characteristics of somebody else's truth But you know the truth because it's right here. So what's happening here? But there's some type of tower moment here happening too. So maybe whatever this relationship was or this love was or whatever is such a burden on you, maybe that's making you look at yourself different. Maybe you thought you were stronger than what you were. Maybe because you feel defeated. But maybe you are stronger than what you think you are. I'm just feeling like somebody has some regret here. And they might be putting a little bit too much on themselves. After already going through so much. Show me the crossing. The Knight of Cups. Somebody could be coming back to offer an apology. We got the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody who's nurturing, loving, caring. This could be a mother, a friend, a sister, a loved one, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. Somebody coming back to offer an apology. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. And then this is you wanting to accept that apology and move on or not accept that apology and go a different direction. Move forward. You're at a crossroad here. And it could be that you don't know if this person is sincere or not, or you don't know if that you're willing to endure any more from this person. All right, let's go ahead and get into the tarot. I'm going to leave these down. And heart home. You still have love for somebody. You still have compassion for somebody. You still see the best in somebody. That's why this is such a hard decision for you. There's something about yourself that you can't accept, Libra. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was something you did, a decision you made, something that was very hard or heavy on you. Something definitely wasn't fitting in with your plans, though, or what you thought your destiny was going to be, your hopes and dreams. And we have... At the bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. And right here, we have the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Three of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. So, there could have been a third party, or this could be dealing with family, and you just uh, choosing to be by yourself right now. Or somebody was acting like they were by themselves, having third parties, and now they're coming back around offering love. But whatever the issue is here, it's something that was faded, something that was meant to happen, something that's a part of somebody's destiny, which is the will of fortune. It was time. And then we also have it here. Something about destiny. Soul plan, the faded life versus the destiny life, which should be destined life. What is this fear? I'm feeling like this is still stemming from the last reading. Having to do with something about a child. We got the four of wands, five of wands. So there's some type of conflict that somebody's fearing that they're that's coming up coming up quickly. Somebody's not going to be happy about a decision that someone made. This is going to cause a whole bunch of fighting, arguing. It's just going to make things difficult. Show me the ten of wands. King of swords. The King of Swords is somebody who's honest, truthful, just in what they do. Sometimes a mediator. We got the star again at the bottom of the deck. I'm feeling like here somebody made a decision, what they thought was best, even though it was hard for them to make this decision. Maybe you're in the process of still making this decision. Maybe you're at the point of no return, but this is a um, this could be something that's interfering with what you had planned in your life versus what ended up happening to you. So maybe somebody had plans to go to college or finish law school or um, be a particular do person at a job or choose their career, be a career person, and then they end up getting pregnant or getting someone pregnant, and now everything has changed. And this person doesn't want this. They thought they saw their life going a whole different way than what's happening. Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing right on the money. Right on the money. We got the Emperor again at the bottom of this deck. And we have him right here at the bottom of this deck. So somebody's definitely trying to control their future, control their destiny, not let it control them. 
something is getting in the way of what somebody had planned for themselves. This is a really hard decision for somebody. Like, we got the Ten of Wands twice here. The Emperor twice. Somebody's trying to keep it together. But with the Sun here, I feel like everything's going to be alright. It's just hard now. We got the Two of Swords. There's maybe something about yourself that you haven't realized yet, Libra. I'm seeing that it's, there's something going on with your ego here. Maybe even with your confidence. Possibly with your self-esteem. It's making it hard for you to make a decision. So there's some soul searching that has to be done in this situation. We got justice at the bottom of the deck. Karmic justice has to be paid. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody's feeling abandoned and left out to have to make this decision by themselves. Queen of Wands, you want to do the right thing. You're going to do the right thing for you. That doesn't mean it's going to be the easiest thing to do. But I do feel like this is a decision that you have to make on your own. The Emperor again at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're making this decision by yourself. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, so I feel like um, a, the, the, the situation that's happening now is something that you wanted and hoped for, but for a future date, not right now. Like you thought it was going to take longer for this wish to come in. You thought you had time to do other things and be independent, be successful, get, get things together before something happened here. Okay, let me scoot these up so you guys can see these bottom ones. Show me the ten of wands. Eight of pentacles. Five of cups in reverse. You don't want to do something you're going to regret. So you're planning this out, you're doing everything you can to try to see it in a different a different light, seeing how you're going to get past it. Oh my God, the hangman and the hangman. This has been happening almost every reading and we got the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you're definitely trying to see things clearly, see things from a different perspective. You might be concerned about what other people are going to think and say of you. Somebody might be watching you. You might feel stuck or delayed in something. Or you're trying to figure out how to not be delayed by this judgment. Yeah, you're worried about somebody judging you. And then not having anybody at the, at the end of the day. And then again, having to juggle and balance everything by yourself. You don't feel like you're strong enough to do this by yourself. Whatever this is. Which could be possibly pertaining to a child. But again, we do have the sun here. The two of swords again. The seven of swords. And the emperor again. There may be somebody hiding something here from a masculine, <laughs> either a father figure, a husband, a boyfriend, a lover. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and move the camera down so we can look at the other cards over here.
I just want to move it up a little tiny. Okay, so I was trying to get the camera right. This way you don't move the camera while you're recording. <laughs> but as I was trying to get the camera right, uh, yeah, I stopped recording. So we're going to go ahead and look at these really quick, then I'll do your angel answer cards. Let's get clarity on this uh, page of Earth. This is the outcome of the situation. There, there could be a child that's born. Um, there could be something to do with the child. We're going to find out right now. But it's definitely going to cause some fighting, some arguing, some uh, disagreements, some back and forward, some type of competition possibly. But then things are going to end up balancing out. It's going to be balanced out. All right, show me the page of Earth. Six of Swords. I'm definitely going to have to pull another card on that. And then we have the Five of Swords in reverse here. So whatever you decide here, it won't be for selfish reasons. Show me the Six of Swords. Eight of Swords. And then the Six of Cups in reverse. Somebody feels like no matter what they decide, they're still going to be stuck. I definitely feel like this is somebody making a decision on whether or not to have a child. How this is going to affect their life moving forward. I feel like this wasn't planned. And we have this Six of Cups is also a child card in my mind when I do tarot. Show me the Five of Fire. And it was in reverse. So maybe someone doesn't want a child right now. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Which is a motherly energy. This could be internal conflict that you're having with yourself about being a mother. Or a parent. Oh, uh, look what's at the bottom of the deck. I can't make this shit up if I try to. That's the Empress, usually the mother of the tarot too. It's in reverse. So I'm definitely speaking to a feminine here who does, who's not particularly ready to be a mother. This wasn't a part of their plan, but it could very well be happening. King of Wands. Page of Pentacles, yeah. This is in reverse again. Y'all can't even see it. Page of Pentacles in reverse again. Somebody doesn't want a child. But they could already be pregnant. Or somebody could be like expecting you to have a baby and you're like, or trying to force you to have a baby and you're like, no, I'm not ready for that yet. It's not time for that yet. We got the Knight of Wands. Somebody's trying to get the fuck out of Dodge. We got the tower in reverse. Somebody's trying to avoid things from falling down. Somebody's trying to avoid their foundation being uplifted, uprooted, or things not going to plan. Like this wasn't a part of the plan. Why is this being introduced now? And then we have the fool in reverse. Like somebody's not trying to risk it. Someone doesn't want to take a chance at something. It's like, it's a no for me. And then we have the world in reverse. Yeah, someone is not ready to step into this new role or new position. So then the, the advice for you is, as we move all these cards up, the advice for you is to trust, trust your instincts, trust yourself, improve your health, and within the next few months, something's going to happen. You need to take action. Let me turn this to where you guys can see it. You need to take action. There's going to be some type of action that has to take place. Don't stop. 
reconsider. All right. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys. Libra, this is something that's going to possibly be coming in for you or something you're still going to be lingering, dealing with in the new year, 2022. I wish you the best in this situation. Um, make sure you guys like, comment if this is your story. Let me know how this is resonating with people because this energy is coming back again, again. So let me know if this is something that's already happened for you. So I can kind of gauge where I'm at on the timeline for Libra because this is a message I've gotten at least twice for you guys so far. Make sure you comment, like, to show your gratitude, help pass this message along to some, somebody needs to hear it because it keeps coming out. Um, and then if you guys are vibing, make sure you're subscribing. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you next time.